you're wasting all the time Another hour gone, did you hear the chime? You're wasting all the time Recorded for Thursday April 2nd 2020 Hello! And welcome to Wasting All the Time, Season 2. This is a podcast that involves improv and comedy with varying Sometimes at the same time. Sometimes. I will be your host for this green episode. My name is Dave, and joining me are my cohorts in crime, a Jess... Ah, <laughs> you have discovered it is I, Jess, the cohort. Cody. <laughs> and John. <laughs> you will know us by our laughs. <laughs> Mine sounds like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. This is another special coronavirus social distancing version of the podcast. The format to which you will gl- grow quickly accustomed. That's fun. If you have not All right. already. Uh, this is a show with a series of segments that we will be working our way through. And I am happy to say which we will be that the very first segment is a one that I quite enjoy. It's called Science Time with Dave. I also enjoy this. Now, I have to tell you all about a scientific subject that I am going to find out uh, what it is right now. And don't try to parse the syntax of that sentence. It was flawless. (laughs) So I will turn to my... I won't parse it as long as I get to hear the wheel. Here we go. We're going to let a magical wheel tell me what I'm going to tell you about. Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> Today we are talking about the planet Venus. Get ready to learn because it's science, science time, time with, with Dave. Dave. That's right, it's time to talk about the second planet from the sun. It's the sometimes called Earth's sister because it's similar in size and also has atmosphere and probably looked a little something like Earth way back a long time ago when they didn't even have pictures about it. So (laughs) Venus, like I said, is the second one following Mercury and it is named after the goddess of love, probably. It's <laughs> got a thick, hot, wet atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> and it, uh, it had a runaway greenhouse effect sometime before uh, MySpace. <laughs> and it now is so damn hot. The rent is so damn hot. How hot is and it? And you can... Well, I'll tell you. It's hot enough to melt butter. <laughs> and more sturdy things. <laughs> so there you go. What do we call this technically correct with Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> So now you know a little something about Venus, which is a planet. And now you have a recording of saying thick, hot, and wet. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Cool thing, factoid, because I always like to talk more about it after the segment. Which is the best. Um, The uh, Soviet Union launched and successfully landed a probe onto Venus. Oh, wow. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it did. And they t- ah. managed to take some photographs and send them back before the atmosphere destroyed the probe. Before it melted steel? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, 
it's pretty cool. I'll post a picture in the show notes for this episode because it's Ooh, um, some of my favorite pictures. Yeah, it's I love this. surprisingly <laughs> familiar looking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Just more caustic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't, you you you, you couldn't uh, uh, live there. No. Okay. Now, let's uh, move it along to the next. On segment. the contrary, you could live there for the rest of your life. Ooh. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's he's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> All right, it's fruit words. Upwards, downwards, forwards, backwards. I say we go fruit words. All right, welcome to fruit words. This is a segment where an improv scene is inspired by two random words, an adjective and a noun. Do they go together? Probably not, but we make them. <laughs> Without them. I'm going to use our handy-dandy Fruit Words app, <gasps> developed by none other than Unexampled Salt, Ooh. a very fine patron of ours, available on the Android App Store. Here we go. I'm going to draw the cards. You have the and... right kind of phone. You get this app. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, our selections for this episode are Subjected Clawed Pate. Clawed Pate? Can you spell that? Which is a, a blockhead or adult. What? C-L-O-D-P-A-T-E. Oh, Pate, like head. Yeah. Oh, like a blockhead. That's brilliant. Yeah. Or a clawed head. Clawed Pate. <laughs> no, that's when you blend them up and put them in a dish. <laughs> And subjected. <laughs> it says that was not a genuine pliable. laugh. <laughs> Subject. <laughs> Obnoxious. Well, I'm sorry. What was the first word? I got caught up on Claude Pate. Subjected. Subjected. Subject one. <laughs> oh, it's not subjective. Subjected. Subjected. Yes. Oh, Wait, yeah. subject Ted. <laughs> Subjecti. Subjecte. <laughs> Ted, I uh, I wanted to sit down and do our annual review real quick here. Okay, um, sounds good. Yeah, I'm... you've been doing a a, a good job, uh, you know, a oh. fair job. Oh. Okay, um, I didn't realize I was working at a fair. You... That's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, you, you know, you have such a skill with with words and and how you look at them. Uh, well, I want you to summarize for me how you feel like you've you've done f- uh, over the past year here. Okay, okay. I, I practiced this. I got this. I told the mirror this. Here we go. Here we go. I um I did good um at making m- mirrors because I wanted to do the best mirror job that I could do. do you, yeah, c- c- calm, calm down, Ted. You're, oh. you're, doing, oh. you're doing just fine. Jeez. Um, okay. You, you kind of let your, and your social I, anxiety... And I wanted the, the reflecting... I wanted... I practiced this. It was going to be funny. I was going to say I reflected well on the job. Yeah, no. Uh, I know. <laughs> Look, you you interviewed very well. Um, oh. You've done a... Sorry, I'm sweating. A, really a good... Okay. Uh, just... I'm just trying to say relax, you know, you're you're doing good. We all like you here. Uh, it's a little awkward how you let your social anxiety sort of blow up your, your personality like this. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you, you know, we prefer the level-headed sort of version. But, you know, I, we all understand. We all understand. You, you uh, get me? Yeah, I mean, we are, we're all trying to figure out how to learn from you, honestly, Ted. Uh, since you started here, we've we've had uh, great success with all of the initiatives that you've had a hand in. You like and, those? Uh, yeah, I mean they're they're going gangbusters, Ted. Uh, oh man! There's a. Uh, some of us are a little worried that you're going to promote right out of here before we even uh, understand you. Uh, so I'm just kind of trying to get a sense for how you happen upon these ideas, you know? Okay, um... Uh, which, which, which one do you want to hear about first? I don't know. I wrote them down in this notebook, but I can't 
read my own handwriting, and I think there's a picture of SpongeBob here. So, I yeah. take a pick. How, let's let's start with the the uh, paper clip for sponges. Mm. Okay. Oh, this one's actually pretty funny. Okay, no, I, I like this one. This one's pretty funny. I was, I I was cleaning off some of the coffee that I spilled again, and I thought I thought, man. Wouldn't it be great if this sponge could use paper clips, right? No, okay. That's that's it. That was it. That's it. That's it. You hate that it. Was... I'm sorry. No, it's great. just infuriatingly simple. That's That's what my mom called me. Yeah, you know, I think the rest of us are overthinking everything here, you know. Mm-hmm. It's uh mm-hmm. I guess it's tough with with the pressure. Yeah. Yeah, always trying to measure up to you guys. You got your PhDs, your, your doctorates, your advanced degrees. Ooh, hey, I got the I got the uh, cake. I got the celebration cake. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Huh? Oh, so we were doing a a review. <laughs> hey, right. right. Hey there, man. I, I like this carpet. I'm gonna look at it a little bit. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry. You you came in with with what? Uh, it's the ce- it's the celebration cake. Oh after, yeah. After the review, celebration right. cake. We weren't done you know, with the review, I d- but I don't I just, honestly see what I'm gonna get out of this. So, uh, what if ha- a who carpet wants had a toupee? Cake? That would be pretty cool. Wait, what? Like carpet toupees? Like you write that down. Like <laughs> this carpet? Like there's a spot here. It's 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 gross. But I was thinking, man, instead of new carpet. We just gave it some fake carpet hair, like a like a patch, or like a rug. See, uh, like that's like what man. Patch. You guys are so much smarter than me. That makes so much more sense than carpet toupee. I guess. I mean, you could do a little comb over. Look, her. If you're feeling fun. Rugs, you could. rugs are boring. Rugs, rugs have been around carpets and they've been around for a long time. I, yeah. Who wants who's who's excited about a carpet or a rug? I mean, no, no one's excited about carpets or rugs. My but mom toupees. is a toupee. Yeah, a toupee. You know, and then we could we could spin this, and eventually, what what about those those carpets that need uh, uh, yarn transplants, fiber transplants, plugs? You know, plugs, plugs for the carpets. Yeah, carpet plugs. Mm-hmm. Carpet plugs. Carpet toupee. Huh. See, I just uh, I feel like I'm an anchor, and you guys are the ship. Like, you look all the cool ideas you just had, and I was like, oh, carpet toupee, and then you could have carpet toupee barbers, and it could be this whole thing like a luxury item, and you guys just you you take it away, and then take away, Car- hmm. carpet to pay carpet to go. To yeah, this is genius, Ted. Yeah, this is really good. I guess I'll I get. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take off the the part of the frosting so, that says uh, now higher. I'm just gonna put that part off of the cake. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. There we go. I think we'll keep this one. There you go. I'm gonna go get some plates. Thank you. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> Poor Ted. <laughs> just doing his best. <laughs> My carpe. Yeah. Good old Ted. All right. That was a segment. And there are more. There had better be. So Don't lie to me. Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's... Okay. Let's move it right along to... Hey, everybody. Editor Dave here. I was just about to drop in the Twitter shins theme, and then I heard what we did during the recording session, and... I decided to just leave that instead. Enjoy. Thanks for listening. Twitter, 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 Twitter shins. Twitter, Twitter shins. Rapid ball. <laughs> 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 Da-dun. Dave wrote all of this music, and you should be goddamn thankful. <laughs> all righty we are gonna move it on to twitter shins where i look at the top three tweets on the internet i don't know if you've been there before <laughs> if you're lucky you it's haven't. the same one that has ebay.com <gasps> that one that internet that's the one is that the same one that has all the porn 
Maybe. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read the top three tweets, and I'm going to put them in the form of a question, because that's the way that they were written. <laughs> and I will let the other three cohorts uh, provide answers to them. These were not sent to us as uh, direct questions to us, but we're going to answer them anyway, because this is the internet, and that's how it works now. All right, the number three tweet on the aforementioned series of tubes is from Nasheen Merchant at Nasheen 437 Hi Any good book recommendations? Cody Yes, listen here Mosin Nagant The best book you're ever going to read is called The Bartender's Guide to Drinking Straight Liquor It's going it, to there's several <laughs> very excellent recipes in there such as straight whiskey, straight vodka or Shots of whiskey and vodka alternating. It's going to change your life. It gives you the ability to time travel, to teleport to the alley behind your house, and to read the minds of animals. <laughs> so check that one out. I'm on chapter, um, yeah, four? I don't know. I time traveled back to chapter one again, so <laughs> give it a good sip. Sounds like less of a book and more of a pamphlet. Ha! Classic joke. Jess. Hey, Nasheen, did nobody ever tell you that print is dead? It's right, it died years ago. And everybody's doing these days is them podcasts. You sit down and you hear someone read a book. That's what you want to go after, Nasheen. Now, now I, got, I got a lot of recommendations for those. All right. There's this one called you Time Wasting All of It. Ooh. Or something. I'm not good with names. Your name's Nasheen. I wrote it down, but I don't want to look back down at my paper anymore because, again, print is dead. The written word, it's gone. It it disintegrated like 20 years ago, and just and it, you're just like you pick up a book. What you're really picking up is the slowly dying corpse of a once beautiful tradition. Okay, names have been changed out of either apathy or extreme hatred. <laughs> John. Uh, so um, it's uh, debatable whether you would really call it a book or not. But uh, if you go to um, www. Um, um, fan fiction and oh boy. and stuff. dot org, uh, there's a lot of great stories. One of them that I recommend is um it's it's a great uh like alternate universe um star trek uh meets marvel um story um that i wrote it's at like 500 <laughs> chapters now um and um and i think you're really going to like it it's it's um it's called um star trek into the end game <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't want to. I don't know why, but I get the feeling that you actually have never been to fanfictionandstuff.org. It's available. <laughs> Tweet number two from Mad Main at I am a underscore nice guy. How much, spaceman? John! Uh, well, uh, in chapter uh, 327, um, um, Captain Kirk, after after uh, he has his uh, his fight with uh, Captain John Luke Picard uh, due to the time dilation um, issue, he he asks that of Peter Quill, um, who's just showed up uh, to to stop them from fighting because they're on the same side. It's just that. It's just that, um, you know, the, you know, uh, Doctor Strange has gone, gone bad because it's like Doctor Strange from the Mirror Universe, uh, from that one Star Trek episode, um, and he's made them crazy and want to fight each other. But Peter Quill intercedes and 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 he says that, um, you know, when they they try to thank him, he says it's okay, just pay me three thousand credits. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, Jess. 
I'm gonna tell you how much it is, Mad Maney Boy. It's all, it's, it's, it costs the same amount of a load of both. Because we're never leaving this planet. We never left it in the first mm. place. All these, these rockets going up places, going out everywhere, they are fake. They're as fake as the glasses that are not on your face are real or fake. Do you wear glasses? I don't know. I, uh, uh, conspiracy earth person. That's you. That's not me. All right. I I am having sympathy confusion. <laughs> Cody. I'm sorry. Can you get the tweet one more time? How much, spaceman? Okay. So here's the deal. Spacemen need copious amounts of disinfectant. Little known science fact, you can boil disinfectant and make it potable. So, when the spaceman is asking you for a little bit of the, you know, something to get him through the space flight, you can boil some of that disinfectant and sell it to him as a premium liquor slash hand sanitizer, and it is goddamn amazing, and any spaceman will pay any price you want for a little of that home distilled goodness somewhere around 350 proof. Mm-hmm. All right, only wholesome black market offerings on this Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> All right, Fuck, tweet brilliant. number one from Ella at Ella Gator Z One. Why? Why does corn have its own verb? Shuck, Cody. So funny story. I used to be called. Shucker back in high school. All the kids were really <laughs> friendly with me. They would shout out, Hey, Shucker! And like, hey, I'm gonna take your chocolate milk, Shucker! And we were all very good friends. I, it turns out <laughs> this is because I was a corn farmer's son and I, I dressed appropriately. And in high school, apparently, that makes you very popular. And so corn is so high up on the respect list of foods that people will approach you with respect and so corn deserves its own respect you'll be like corn shuck you and you shuck it and you eat it and there's no better respect than being shocked and eaten all right the corn farmer's daughter written by maurice sendak wow <laughs> Deep jess all right ella you got a cute name, Alligators. I get it. It's a pun. Here's what's not funny. Here's what's not funny. You know what? Maybe if Prince wasn't <laughs> dead, you would know. You also shuck clams. My God, what is wrong with children these days? Do you not know how to shuck a corn or a clam? Now, I can see how you would be confused. They're both very similar. All right? One of them, however, is in the sea. And the other one is in the endless sea of the Midwest. Mm. Now, if you need to understand where you are, the endless sea or the endless sea of the Midwest, all you have to do is shout, oh, don't you know? And then if you hear a response of either, do you want to get a beer or do you want some cheese? You're in the plains of the Midwest. Now, if you hear an angry seagull, you're not in the Midwest. Okay, don't eat corn in a month without an R. John! Uh, so, uh, I haven't actually written this part yet, so this is going to be a sneak preview, but uh, near the end of, of this uh, saga, like, probably somewhere <laughs> around, um, you know, chapter 653, um, I have it all mapped out. Um, <laughs> they go back in time to stop um, the plot of Khan. Uh, who uh, who was uh, oh, you know God. taken over from Thanos after Thanos um, was redeemed at the last moment um, by <laughs> by uh, by uh, the you know the the love of um, well I'm not going to spoil that um, you know who he ends up with but um, but yeah so uh, they go back in time to stop Khan um, and they have to go back to like prehistoric times and they uh, they they. Uh, they run into, uh, you know, they take, they take, um, they take uh, Captain America back. Uh, and Captain America um, is talking with the cavemen, 
I, I, <laughs> one of the cave people uh, is is mm. actually like uh, like an ancestor of of um, of 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 Peggy Carter. Um, and so he sees her and he says, "Ah, oh, shucks." And, uh, and one of the, the the cave people is is uh, is is Chucky Cord at that moment, and that's how it all happened in human history. Like Captain America made that happen. That's his legacy. All right, I should have shut this down a long time ago. <laughs> this has been Twitter Shins Rapid Balls. <laughs> And that was an empty, tragically empty beer bottle. Oh, okay. I thought it was feedback. I was oh, worried. I oh. was confused. I was like, who's blowing into a bottle? <laughs> Two that was me. <laughs> You've already drunk one? Yes, I have another one on reserve, but I can't open it <laughs> until this episode is done. Because I have to get up and go get a <laughs> bottle opener. <sighs> All right. Let's move it right along, shall we? Doodly do. Uh, what's there's? There's no stopping. There's no stopping. No just stopping keep going. the Dave train. No. Just keep podcasting. Just keep podcasting. <laughs> just keep podcasting. You think I'm lying, but it's a sketch. John, I I want to commend you on honestly, amazingly, perfectly capturing the essence of fan fiction. <laughs> It, it <laughs> not an untrue word was spoken. That was so goddamn amazing. No. Oh, thank you very much. Uh. You should be pr- proud. <laughs> you should be a lot of something. <laughs> mm. Just no halfway with this. It's a lot of something. Yeah. All right. What you had something I'm, to say for yourself? Definitely feeling feelings. Yeah. All of them. Mm. Okie dokie, let's do another segment. It goes like this. We're gonna, we're gonna take an opportunity here uh, that is prescribed by the format to talk about a day of the week. And in mm. this particular case, we're talking about April 2nd. And uh, if I look at the handy dandy National Day Calendar, which can be found at nationaldaycalendar.com. Wow. Why, it tells me that the first Thursday in April is none other than National Burrito Day. <gasps> That's a small donkey. I oh. had a had one for dinner. Ooh. So that's fun. <laughs> a and small donkey. I will donkey. not clarify. It's <laughs> a lot of calories. Hmm. <clears throat> really mealy. <laughs> right. This is called criticizing Dave's meal choice. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> dinner is a meal, yes. All right. It's a real meal. <laughs> you can pack that up and take oh. it. National Let's bur- not burrow deeper on this one, guys. Come on. No, no. No, no. Yeah, sure. I'll acknowledge you said something. National Burrito <laughs> Day is observed annually on the first Thursday in April. Oh, that's today. A burrito is a heavy tortilla. Wrapped around meat, cheese, tomato, rice, beans, vegetables, and sauces. Burritos can be filled with ground beef, shredded chicken, shredded beef, or shredded pork. Literally Hmm? the only options. (laughs) Bean choices often include black. So what? Yay, yay, yay. You can't tell it, but I am pointing a a, a, a pencil at the chat. (laughs) All right. I'll continue. Okay. (laughs) Bean choices often include black, red, whole, or refried. Vegetables can be grilled or fresh. Cumin. Chili powder and oregano are typical spices used to give the burritos an authentic Mexican flavor. Mm. Chimichangas are burritos that have been Mm. deep fried. And Deadpool likes them. The word burrito first appeared in the Dictionary of Mexicanisms Mm. in 1895. (laughs) That's literally the title of the book? From 1895, yes. That sounds about right, yeah. 
It is the term used in the Guanajuato region and means little donkey in Spanish. Oh, somebody said that earlier. It is possible. Some smart and smart, handsome individual. Yeah. Not on this show. Oh. It is possible that it stems from the appearance of the packs and bedrolls donkeys used to carry. Oh. oh. They're right. It is possible. <laughs> <laughs> In other regions of Mexico, similar types of food are known as flauta. I love flauta. The burrito was introduced in the United States in the 1930s at the El Cholo Spanish Cafe in Los Angeles. How to observe. How, I wonder, he said, wondering. Call some friends and go out for burritos or make some at home. John and Dave, would you like to go out for burritos and Jess? Wait. Uh, no uh, thanks. I Social distancing. I didn't phrase that right. I'm sorry. Uh, Use hashtag National Burrito Day to post on social media. Well, that's the last of it. We're all done. Yeah, I won't be sad to see it go. Oh. That was a lot. You know, I have to say that yeah. it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure working with you, Tom, on this trail this whole time. It was a pleasure. My pleasure. Oh, yeah, it was absolutely good people all around, you know. It was just a lot of hard work. A lot of a lot of hard, back-breaking, honest work, oh, what yeah. we do here. Absolutely. And you, you performed at a capacity so high that I might say I was impressed. Well, yeah, it wouldn't be the first time in my life I've impressed somebody. <laughs> I can't remember... It's Last the first time, time that... somebody's it's the first time somebody's ever impressed me, so well, quite frankly, I don't know how to I don't know how to gaze you in the eyes anymore or nod to you appropriately. Well, that's a that's a right compliment mm-hmm. there. I mm-hmm. don't know quite how to tell you. It's the first time I'm ever being complimented in this way. Uh mm-hmm. so we're both at uh, loose ends. I, I it would appear so. We're both at uh, two different ends of one road. It's like uh, <laughs> we both uh, somehow entered a sort of postpartum uh, <laughs> after this project and uh, just trying to readjust to the world and uh, the new reality. Uh, how, how, are we, how are we ever going to do that? We're just going to look back on this moment right now and go, no, I don't. Well, we have to compare it to this moment. I got huh? an idea. Oh? We could go out for burritos. Burritos. I know a guy who makes f- best burritos in town. Sells them out of back of a pickup truck. <laughs> oh boy. Pickup truck burritos. Pickup truck you know, burritos. You know right. You know rightly so. I've never had a pickup truck burrito. Yeah, he he has this great theme song. Sings it all the time. It's it's wonderful. All right, all right. I'll pick you up on that offer. <laughs> we cut to the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> well, here. I, I, I said there would be a song. I was told there would be a song. We I never lie. We have the burritos. We have yep. the burritos every Wait, is he, night. Is he German? <laughs> Yes. Is this a German bed serving? Absolutely. Email Alice Burritos. Ah, Sells it right out of the back of his truck. This, Hello, my friends. This one is called... Welcome back. Oh, thanks. I couldn't resist. I brought a friend just like you asked. Oh, welcome to the lovely lady. Ah. The lovely lady. Okay. I don't oh, know. Right, not, if, not uh, the Blanca Rosa or something. That was in uh, Espanol or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not speak Spanish. I'm very sorry. I clearly, I, I see one of your your burritos is known as the Hasselhoff. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's very good. It's um, what we do is we take a um, we take a bunch of uh, pickled cabbage, uh, mix yeah. in boiled pork, yes, and we roll it up in. A tortilla. <laughs> that tortilla, yeah, yeah, the round, the heavy tortilla. <laughs> so, bo- bo- boiled pork, cabbage. 
Majority. Oh, I feel like that's cabbage, just a German cabbage. Yeah. Pickled, I, f- I I think that's just a German meal, put in a tortilla. It's well, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, I mean, it's fusion it's, cuisine. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's all, uh, uh, we're it's almost all... out of all of the pickled sheep stomach. The pickled sheep stomach. Oh we're... no, that's our most popular burrito. Yeah, we're almost all out. What are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is, um, okay, so you go back into the back. Yeah. And uh, you're going to uh, grab some of the, um, you know, the, uh, you know mm-hmm. the, the long pork. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're going to uh, chop it up real fine, mm-hmm. uh, add some vinegar and salt, and, uh, you know, just put it in some burritos. Could, could I do ga- yeah, could I add I'll some have garlic one of powder? those. Oh, you, you want the garlic powder, is it? Okay, well, there's no garlic powder in a in a burrito. Oh. I rightly so have never consumed a, a a burrito with garlic powder. She has not. Well, Embarrassing. This is the first time oh, for oh, everything, oh, isn't there? Oh, 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 I am laughing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, thank you for clarifying that. I wasn't sure if you were laughing or if you were crying. It, it looked... No, no, it come on now, come same. on, let's not get so uh, well, there, culturally... there were tears, there were tears. There, I'm just saying. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. that is how I laugh. I will get you a uh, sample. That's great, okay. and I definitely want a t-shirt this time. The, you you really like this place, huh? Oh, damn, you know, it. Uh, it's uh, the, the schnitzel is to die for. Wait. Ding. Then why are we getting... <laughs> Oh man, now I want schnitzel. <laughs> we can put schnitzel in a burrito for you. Flash for me! Is, is it a schnitzel burrito? Yeah, we take the schnitzel, we put it in a tortilla, and you give us money and we give it to you. Ah. I mean, that's how commerce oh. works, yeah? <laughs> I, I... I... Do pardon me in my... In my brashness but uh all right i'll take a burrito schnitzel all right klaus and, uh, one burrito let's... schnitzel i told you this is ridiculous but i'll make it because you're the boss and you pay me see that is also how commerce works yeah we are having a right i'm not gonna a regular econ 101 yeah <laughs> okay i'm not going to not gonna Disagree, just gonna see if I can be uh, impressed two times in one day. Here is the schnitzel, and here is the long pork sample. Hmm. What about my t-shirt? Um, yeah, and a trucker oh, hat. Oh. I want a trucker hat. Oh, that's right. Wait. Do we have any extra t-shirts? Can we just be... Yeah, we got a t-shirt. Okay, here. I'll grab one. You're that just, was easy. You're just gonna be a, you're gonna be a walking billboard for him. Boy, there's nothing I wouldn't do for this guy. Just the burritos are the best in town. And their schnitzel. In, in the burrito? Yeah, that's what makes the burrito so good. <laughs> I hate beans. Right? Just the first. Oh. Oh, little oh. bit of... Oh. 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 We can all joke. laugh at that joke. <laughs> because that's roasted sausage, one. that is the joke. Yeah. Sausage. It's, it's, we, yeah. we have several versed burritos, too. But only one of them is the best, which is the opposite uh, of worst in English, which we all speak. Okay, that went longer than I thought. <laughs> it's getting belabored, <laughs> yeah. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, okay. I thought there was a ding earlier. Was there, was there? There was a ding already. I did edit oh, the I'm scene sorry. To, I'm totally to a conclusion. It. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? And what? then we no, I like did it, it again. <laughs> Double, double ding. Oh, double, oh, ding. double ding, ding. That's rare. Episode title. <laughs> right, salt. You get it. Long pork. Uh, Wink. Ah, <laughs> just like that scene. All right. <laughs> did you just call me a pork? <laughs> yes, I did. Excellent. Don't pork deny it. Long. Don't mm-hmm. deny you it. Sure about that, Jess? Don't. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I am a quarter of a cup of wine in. Whoa. Nice. All Which right, I think it's important that we move it right weight. along. It's the improv game of the week. All right.
right, as the sound cues suggest, this is the Improv Game of the Week, Ooh. the segment of the show where each of us, on our respective shows, pick an improv game for the rest to play. And on this one, I've got a game here that I picked out of the Improv Encyclopedia. Where can that be found? Ooh. Improvencyclopedia.org. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's fun. This is called Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so. Okay. Well, the game on here is called Mr. So-and-so, but there's no reason why it has to be a mister. All right. Description. This is an improv game. Good start. That's... <laughs> that's Morse... I love the encyclopedia so much. That is more suited for rehearsal than for performance. Another good start. Perfect. Still going strong. <laughs> Though I can work on stage as well. All right. You can. Good. That's good to know. After That's our some good third, bona fides right there. Third live show, Dave can work on stage. Excellent. Here is how it works. Players call for a new character. Players call for new characters by giving them names that refer to character or physical traits. Things like, ah, here comes Mr. Bad Irish Accent. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. I'm sorry. And then there are more examples. Uh, the idea is to challenge the other players with weird and unexpected suggestions, forcing them to come up with an extravagant character right away. Hold on. All right. In the moment? In the moment. So does somebody just want to... Do you want to start since it's your game? Uh, sure, I was going to suggest that uh, our patrons pick who goes <gasps> first. Uh, you mean our brilliant, attractive, amazing Give them the power? Patrons? Yeah, why not? They paid money. They get power. In addition to being so, attractive uh, and brilliant? Uh, you know, everyone in the chat at once come up with a single name, and that will be the person that goes first. And if oh, come on. No. <laughs> brilliant. Please, New no. Favorite. Anybody pick Please. Somebody write I a name. I've heard everything okay. that I didn't understand. I see John. Okay. <laughs> uh, the other word that was written is not capitalized, so it's not a name. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay. All right. So John will start us off, and then we will cycle. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, John, Jess, Cody, Dave. Perfect. Once again, Dave, you have crushed it. Thank you. John, Jess, Cody, Dave. And begin. Okay. Well, 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 if it isn't the Duchess of Staplers. <laughs> you know it, boy. I'm going to staple everything down. Two prongs, that's all I need. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You know, uh, everything here seems to be uh, well stapled still since your last visit. Uh Okay, because, you know, I can double staple things. Like, everything's got a side. And everything's got a side that need to, what, be stapled to some other side. Right. I, like, it's just yeah, a lot. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, but it's fine. I mean, look, the cat has not moved. <laughs> I, good. It's still there. Good, that cat. You're going you're gonna to walk out one day and you're going to be like, oh, no, where's Whiskers? And then you're going to look around. You'll be like, oh, Whiskers is right where I stapled yep, him. Yep, we, we had welcome. to move his food bowl and everything. <laughs> yeah yeah hey my only the best staples from my friends oh, I, I really do appreciate come from my staples yeah 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 oh whoa 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 wow look who we got strutting around none other than king peacock himself yes hello how are you peasants doing don't answer i know drab Behold my magnificent colors and be in awe, because, yes, you are in my presence. How are your mundane lives dragging themselves on? Oh, they're staying together. Oh, surprising. And you, it's... other human? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it, it's a good day since you acknowledged uh, that I am, in fact, human. Yes, I was feeling... Generous. Ho hold on, I have to flex. <gasps> yes. Oh, that was Yes, nice. it was. <laughs> How does, it, How does he... That was... Hey, can, let me just look at some of your feathers. You may. Gonna... You may approach within several feet. <laughs> Dear God. There we go. What have you done? 
made you beautiful. It looks better that way. Think of them like, think of them like piercings. When you are a being of the glorious caliber that I am, beautiful is a downgrade from deific. So. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Hmm. Whoopsies. <laughs> now, however, my friend <laughs> has arrived. <laughs> it is none other than yes. Lieutenant <laughs> Incredibly Angry Doctor is here. Lieutenant, thank you so much for showing up. Ah, I've never, uh, never missed a scream like yours, Mr. Peacock. Mm. That's, uh... Unmistakable, except it sounds a little like a woman in distress. <laughs> well, anyway, ah, god damn. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What a party this is. This looks good. I like your style there. Uh, you had ooh, what kind of contraption is that? Oh, it's a, it's a, oh my god, that's a bona fide feather stapler. Hot shit. Wow. <laughs> it is. It is. God damn, I wish we had those out on the front end. <laughs> <laughs> if you really need some, you know, I can pull some strings. I can uh, suture up some for you. Well, yeah, yeah, that would be good. Fuck, ah, god damn it. God, it makes me so mad that we don't already have that freaking government contracting. Ah, shit, Lois Bitter. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we have to get you some paperwork filled out so you can qualify to bid and then uh, work some under the table sort of deal. That's, uh, you know, it's fine. That's fine. I understand how nepotism works. God, I hate it. Yeah, oh, and, and if you could be a family member, even better. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> well, uh, who's the host? Oh, it's this uh, uh, standing up on two legs dog that. Uh, <laughs> Is a human kind of creature almost, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, the uh, the uh, the experiments are uh, proceeding uh, very well. Uh, as you can oh. see, I can stand on two legs now. Um, oh, you, you oh, what are, is this? So this is a, quaint. Is this a squeaky ball? So quaint. Oh, squeaky, squeaky. squeaky ball. Squeaky. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Um, are you one of ours? <laughs> I'm, if you're going to... Throw that squeaky ball. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna just staple it to the floor next to the oh, cat. Oh, that's almost that... better. Animal instincts okay. are All right. so All right. amazing. <laughs> I got the ball. I don't got the ball. I got the ball. Good. I don't got the ball. God. The ball. Sweet. Ball. Jesus. I know. <clears throat> Isn't it plebeian? <clears throat> You know, you you see a dog standing up on two legs hosting a party, and you think this is gonna be good. But fuck if this isn't the biggest disappointment in my life. I know, they're so dry. I think I've almost got it. Hey, stable lady. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's mm. me. Yeah, I need you to staple my eyes closed because the disappointment. Mm. Who says I haven't done it already, and you're just disappointed by the backside of your eyelids? Oh. God. Uh -huh. mm. uh, Perhaps you could blind me and save me from this pedestrian display. Who's to say that they we have you aren't already blind? See, I can do it too. Mm. How postmodern. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Holy shit, Dave! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> well, you. We had all of these uh, sort of esoteric suggestions, and then you were just like, "You're just a really mad guy <laughs> in the military." I just loved the random punctuations of profanity. <laughs> it was like, "Yeah, this is great." Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh. we had a lot of fun with that, <laughs> and uh, hopefully you had a lot of fun listening. Oh, I hope you did. That was Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, <laughs> and we will add that to our list to play again someday. I got to be a king. <laughs> sure as shit did. <laughs> or it was even, you would swear and then justify it. Like you'd yeah. be like, shit, I, 
I'm so mad we don't have this already. <laughs> like it was <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, holy crap, dude. You're a genius. Well, if there was anything about this episode that you liked in particular, I enjoyed the part where I was called a genius, <laughs> then please go to wastingallthetime.com slash vote to let us know about it, because at the end of O to year, we will provide all of the nominated scenes for you to vote on to make our top 10 list. And that will be fun. Guaranteed. So that's ding. <laughs> ding. So that's about it. Double ding. Oh. So that's about it. Double ding. For this episode, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for wasting your time. Um, we are having fun doing it. So, until next time, which would be Monday after this, with the plot thickens. My name was Dave. I was John. I was Cody. And I was, as always, Jess. And we wasted all of the time. Bon voyage, she said, bringing that one back. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. But... <laughs> Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time podcast if you enjoyed this show then please consider subscribing on apple podcasts or stitcher or follow us on spotify if you really enjoyed the show then head on over to patreon.com slash pod and become a supporter of our time wasting efforts now that was a lot of things i just threw at you so if you forget all of that just head on over to wastingallthetime.com and there we have all the answers Dave, or am I doing it and sending it to you, or what's the... I am doing the app. <gasps> the app does the app. doing... Thou art you. Shit. <laughs> Verily. Verily so. Punch you. All right, welcome. Oh, well, 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 if it isn't, uh... Mrs. Giant Botanical Garden. <laughs> Hello there. Yes, I've brought all of my zinnias, my bedunias, and my min- and my saffron for you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, my poor, my my poor Earl of the one island that everybody goes to, but then pretends, oh, why am I here? Mike. What's wrong? Was that an address to John or me? I'm sorry, I missed... Just, that was to okay. John. I'm oh, sorry because he yeah, addressed you, me, and it was almost almost all of what you said cut out on my end. <laughs> yeah, sorry. same here. Oh, Tell Kevin to stop streaming. Can we start the se- <laughs> can we start the scene over then? Yes, I think so. Okay, thank you. So John will introduce Jess, okay. who will introduce Cody, who will introduce me, who will introduce John, etc. Oh, you introduce John in a circular fashion. That's what I was thinking. Unless you want to. Okay bounce Got back it. and forth but no 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 no, no. that makes oh. more sense all right and begin okay